Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, coming at you with an updated deck profile and today I'll be showing you guys my Shadal train deck. Uh, so starting off with the standard train engine, we have the free Night Express Knight, uh, the free Heavy Freight Train Derek Crane, and then finally the free Ruffian Rail Car. Uh, for the Shadals, I've cut it down to just four. Uh, the Shadals you really don't want to draw, you just want to use them out of deck with uh, Shadal Fusion. Um, so that's why I cut down the ratio, also to make room to make it a 40 card deck. Uh, so we have the two beasts, uh, it's the best one since it acts as an upstart goblin, uh, the one dragon for popping back row, and then the one squamata, which can bounce uh, monsters back to the hand if it's on the field, but also for sending the Shadal to graveyard when it's sent to graveyard as well is really good, um, especially for the combo of squamata into beast to draw a card, or squamata into dragon to pop a back row. Uh, then for the final monster, we have just a two maxi. Uh, for spells, we have the free revolving switchyard and the two terraforming. I believe in the previous build I was playing free terraforming, but I, again, I wanted to make space to make this a 40 card deck. Uh, plus, with Pod Desires, I feel like uh, the deck should consistently enough get into Revolving Switchyard to where I don't think I need three. Uh, the free Shadal Fusion. I uh, don't need El Shadal Fusion. Um, this deck is just looking to gain as much advantage as possible out of um, sending fusion materials from deck. Uh, and El Shadal, I mean, there's rare occasions where it gets you that extra damage, but it, it's just not worth playing, honestly. Um, so I think free Shadal Fusion is enough. Uh, the two Pod Desires, um, of course I don't own free. I don't think free is absolutely necessary. Um, you don't want to draw into multiples. Um, you don't want to like dead draw them. So, yeah, And you more more likely than not aren't going to resolve two in a game. So I, I think two is the right number. Uh, double Twin Twisters for that annoying back row, especially with all the um, um, you know dimensional barriers, Solemn Strikes, and then Paleozoics running around. Uh, one Foolish Burial for saying your uh, Shadals or your Ruffian Rail Car for the end phase search. Uh, one Regeki, and then finally the one Soul Charge. Uh, traps, we have the double Call of the Haunted, really good in combination with Revolving Switchyard to get its effect on the opponent's turn. Uh, double Robbery to Warlords, um, if I had Dimensional Barriers, uh, those would probably be in here in its place, but Robbery's still pretty good. Uh, your whole deck is pretty much machine, and this just shuts off um, you know, ABCs from going to Sugiyomi. Uh, shuts off Metal Foes from going into some of their monsters. Just overall, a pretty good card, even even still. Uh, then we have the Triple Psalm Strike and one Solemn Morning. Uh, the one Skill Drain, and then finally the one Vane Zephiness to round out our 40 card main deck. Uh, for the extra, we have the two El Shadal Shekinaga and the one El Shadal Winda. Uh, you definitely could play free Shekinaga, but again, I wanted to make space for everything in the extra deck. Plus, I haven't had a situation yet in testing with this deck where I needed the third, so I feel like two is enough. And then the wind that does come up but often enough, even though it is pretty occasional, uh, to where I feel like it's worth playing. It uh, can be a nice first turn play if you open pretty bad with like a Shadal Fusion and two Shadal Monsters. Just to have something decent to sit on. Uh, the two uh, Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon Super Dora. Uh, the two Gustav Max uh, can be useful in time to go in the second one. Uh, the one Sky Palace Gang Dredora. Uh, the one Super Dimensional Robot Galaxy Destroyer. Uh, then for the Spider Engine, we have the two Tarantula, one Pain Gainer, and then the two Seven Sins. And then for the last extra deck card, we have the one Star Dragon, since we are siding the two Starlight Road. Uh, finally, to round it out with the side deck, we have the two Gamma Seal and two Jizikiru. Uh, these are the two Kaiju monsters for interrupting Kaiju Slumber. Gamma Seal obviously is the weakest one of 2200 that you'd want to summon on your opponent's side of the field. Uh, Jizikiru is uh, the biggest one at 3300 and also is a machine. Uh, in level 10, so it does go nicely with the deck. Uh, then of course the two interrupted Kaiju Slumber. Uh, double system down, don't think you need three, don't want to draw multiples. Uh, the third Twin Twister. Double Anti-Spell for going first against Pendulums. Uh, double Starlight Road for protecting your, some of your floodgates against Twin Twister. And then finally the double Typhoon uh, to combat Anti-Spell Fragrance and also for uh, Pendulum matchups like uh, Metaphos. Um, so that is it for this updated deck profile of my Shadal Train deck. Um, I do hope you guys enjoyed it. Please feel free to let me know in the comment section below what you think of the deck. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.